Hello, welcome to Friday Night Shooters. I'm your host, Pierre Rarit, today we're making the Sonatica Arctica, which I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, don't kill me, Kenneth, because this is actually submitted by Kenneth a while ago, which I didn't have the ingredients. I do now. But it's called Sonatica Arctica White Pearl Black Ocean sh Shooter. Yeah, hopefully I said that right. But I couldn't get a hold of Godiva chocolate, because that stuff is expensive. If you ever try it, it's expensive as hell. It's good. From what I heard, I just didn't feel like spending money. So, I got white chocolate liqueur. It's still the same idea. It's a hell of a lot cheaper. Hopefully, it tastes about the same. Because it's still white chocolate. But, this one is based off a group that he listens to. He listens to the entire albums, everything they ever made. He's really into this group. I haven't listened to it as much. I had a couple episodes, or a couple songs I listened to here and there. Not enough to really know much about the group. Now, there's a lot of other groups I listen to that I found by accident. Like Amaranthe, if you ever got a chance to listen to them, they're really awesome. Arch Enemy, there's tons of ones out there. But this one, I haven't heard too much of. I could download and listen to whenever I get a chance, but I heard it's pretty good. This is the White Pearl Black Oceans, which is actually the name of one of their songs. But the idea is it's going to have some coffee. He said if you want, use some espresso, get a little more of a kick. And use a regular coffee. Not really that much more of a kick. I'm more hyper as is. So, regular coffee is good for me. So, using this with a dark rum, that's going to give you the black ocean. Then you have the white rum and the white chocolate liqueur, or Godiva liqueur, if you can get a hold of that. That's going to give you your white pearl. So, it's definitely going to be interesting. It's going to be kind of a chocolate, coffee, rum mix of flavor. But it's interesting. Let's try it out. I'm interested in this one. I've been wanting to make this for a while. But as I said, I didn't have all the ingredients. I figured, at least this I can afford. I bought a bottle of this way, way time ago. Never drank it. It just sat there and went bad. But now I have one. Let's try it out. So this is the Sanatica Arctica White Pearl Black Oceans Shooter. I'll show you exactly how it's made. And hopefully I'm still saying that right. And if not, don't kill me, Kenneth. But first thing you want to do is you want to make your white pearl shot. Take a half ounce of your white rum. And so this is going to be thick as hell. And it's going to be all my thing. And I got one shot glass. Or one measuring cup. Oh, I messed that up. I'm going to measure out the black rum first. So you're taking a half ounce of black rum. Well, yeah, black or dark rum, whatever you have. And that goes into your chaser glass. Then, so it's now I can do it. Take your white chocolate liqueur, half ounce of that. Yeah. Then you want to take, yeah, it's not going to get milky. I don't care right now. But take four ounces of your. Coffee, espresso if you have it. You want to make sure it's iced coffee. You don't want to have anything that's like hot coffee because that's definitely going to be good. So I figure I made this ahead of time, chilled it. This was nice and cold when it was ready for the cocktail. But there you have it. You know, it's a little milky. It's not supposed to be that way, but it still works out. Because you're putting this in, it's going to have the same flavor. But this is a Sonatica Arctica, or Sonatica Arctica. Yeah, it's a hard name to say. The White Pearl Black Oceans Cocktail. See exactly how it tastes. Try it out. Strong coffee flavor. 
I can imagine how it tastes with espresso. But it has a, a mild chocolate note to it. It kind of sits in the back end. You get a lot of that chocolate. But it has a lot more of a rum coffee. It kind of tastes like a Kahlua in a way. Kahlua with a little bit of cream. Kind of like a white Russian, I guess you could say. But it's very flavorful. I am curious to see how this will taste with the Godiva chocolate liqueur. I never had Godiva. This is still a white chocolate liqueur. I guess Godiva is a little thicker, so it gives a little bit different flavor notes to it. But still pretty good. It's definitely worth a try. If you ever get a chance to check it out. You definitely get that strong coffee aftertaste. That just sits in the end and it just, yeah, you can't escape that. But the rum kind of bounces it out. You got a slight chocolate finish. Not much. It kind of sits. It mixes slightly with the coffee, but not a lot. But it's very good. It's an interesting shot. As I said, I haven't actually listened too much to Sonata Arcana. Or Sonata Artica. Eventually I'll say the name right. But I haven't listened too much. But you can actually see his full description below of the song. Of the shot. What he thinks about the flavor and everything. Since this is his creation, he can explain a lot more. But it's definitely a good shot. It's worth trying out. It's actually pretty good. I like it. I like coffee, so of course I like this this shot. But as I said before in many episodes, definitely submit your cocktails. Things like this I really like. It sucks this time I had to wait so long to get this on here just because I couldn't find the rest of the ingredients. And Nice Fair has got that that works about the same. But definitely submit your cocktails. If I can make it, I'll put it on the show. I love making cocktails that people submit because it's not my own. It's something completely unique. It doesn't have my storyline, my basis of a cocktail I usually put in there. It's something that somebody else designed, so it gives more stuff to think about, more nuances as far as a flavor that I myself didn't actually put together. So it's definitely interesting for me to try these. But I hope you enjoyed this, Shooter. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel. Submit. And as always, drink responsibly.